Hello and very welcome to our Deepens 2 tutorial series. In this video we would like to show you how to use splines in Deepens 2. Splines can be used in different variants and are very helpful to place fixtures in a specific shape in the 3D world. Within the Deepens 2 toolbar to your left you can see different kinds of spline tools already available. To draw a free form of your choice, use the Draw a Spline function. Predefined spline forms thereby can be used by selecting the Circle Spline, Rectangular Spline, Star Spline or Formula Spline tool. Let's start with the Draw a Spline tool. Simply select the tool by clicking. Activating it is also indicated by your cursor. To start drawing your spline, Click the left mouse button on those positions in the 3D world where you would like to place it. Using this method you can create any kind of shape that matches your vision. Splines will automatically be arranged on the zero level of the 3D view. While using the quad view, you can move your spline by dragging its connection points. Here you can add additional connection points too. As soon as you are pleased with your spline arrangement, just hit the escape key to confirm your form. You now will automatically leave the spline tool as well. Now Deepens2 has created a spline object also viewable within the 3D hierarchy window. To change your spline arrangement just select it and again click on the draw a spline button in the toolbar to enter editing mode. Further options regarding your spline are accessible via the settings tab on the upper right. Here you can see different parameters and options which are making it possible to manipulate your spline. The build orientation for example will automatically store where you have started building your spline. This feature will become more important later as you can manipulate fixtures placed on the spline itself. The closed box will determine if your spline is arranged in an open way, like we have drawn it, or if it is automatically closed. The interpolation mode will be set as linear by default. Activated, this mode will create straight lines between each connection point. By changing the mode to cubic, it is possible to create interpolated smooth connections. By clicking Invert Direction, you can change the build order of the spline, which means it will be created either clockwise or counterclockwise. The Symmetric checkbox, if activated, offers you the possibility to automatically create a symmetric shape of your existing spline. Moving just one half of your spline now results in creating a symmetric spline as a whole. Again, press the escape key to confirm your changes. We will now go on with the circle spline a dedicated tool to draw round, predefined shapes. Select the tool, click left on any point in the 3D world and hold the mouse button to draw a circle shape.
As in other graphic design programs, you can also hold down shift to draw a perfect circle that will scale depending on your movement. Holding the control key while drawing, the circle will be created around the point in the 3D view we have just clicked. Of course, you can use both shortcuts to create a perfect circle around a specific point within the 3D world. Moving to the settings window, you will now notice some further options. In addition to the default options regarding the spline, you will find particular options to manipulate your circle spline. By changing the maximum angle parameter, you are able to manipulate your circle spline in a way of cutting areas out, for example, to create a half circle. The point count lets you change your circle into any kind of polygon. By hitting the ellipse checkbox, both radius parameters let you manipulate different axes whereas the axes of a perfect circle are always linear to each other. In addition to that, the pick points of the pivot present an easy method to scale and manipulate your circle spline too. The rectangular tool is basically working in the same way as it is also creating a predefined spline form. The star spline tool 2 can be used similar to the circle or rectangular spline tool. By changing the inner or outer radius, you can specify the appearance of your star-like spline just as you wish. You can even twist and bend your spline by using the dedicated parameter within the settings window. The formula spline tool lets you create a spline according to a specific mathematical equation. Select it and click into the 3D world once. Deepens2 will automatically place a new spline where you have just clicked. This will always be a wave spline by default. You can now open the settings window to have access to all parameters which can be used to edit this default spline. Here you will find three input boxes each for a different axis of the spline. Just type in any simple equation to manipulate your spline accordingly. By changing the T variable parameters, you can transform your spline in additional ways. To create a more naturally looking spline, just edit the samples value as your spline will be newly interpolated according to the level of samples. You will find different examples of equations in our manual.
After creating the spline, we now will place fixtures directly onto it. For that, we again need to open the library window and select the desired fixture. After raising the number of fixtures which are going to be placed, just drag and drop your fixture from the menu into the 3D world and onto your spline. You will recognize that the spline will be automatically highlighted as you hover over it. By releasing the mouse button all fixtures will be placed on the spline and the arrange window on your right will be opened. This particular arrangement tool does recognize your spline as well as the fixtures you have selected. Here you can change properties like the starting or ending position of the arrangement, just define the fixture placement as you see fit. The rotation of the fixtures is aligned to the spline itself by default. By changing the rotation, you can see the fixtures offset, which will work in any direction you would like. You may also shift the fixtures offside the spline. To that, deactivating the rotation will keep all fixtures placed in the same direction. By clicking on the Edit button within the Arrange window, you can easily work on your spline after you have already placed your fixtures. This surely will help you designing your spline. Again, hit the escape key to confirm your changes and your spline as well as your fixtures are placed within the 3D world. These steps are also working the other way round. Drag and drop your fixtures into the 3D world. Now you need to use the drag icon displayed after selecting your fixtures and hold your mouse button while navigating to your spline until it is highlighted again. Release your mouse button and all formerly selected fixtures will be placed automatically onto the spline.